Saubona and welcome to Isizulu 101 lesson 4. Are you struggling to pronounce Zulu names, lyrics and other words? Struggle no more. I am here to help. Okay? Please remember to subscribe to the channel and to share this video far and wide. I am the fabulous Mew Joacha. We are going to start today's lesson with a click. The letter is Q example or pa so the sound is for q there's a bunch of things we can do with q as you have seen previously when we were doing n and when we were also doing g or pa means record so let's see what happens when we add an h that becomes so the example is kosha and when there's an n before the q it becomes n. the example is ngoba kosha brag ngoba conquer moving right along the letter r is kh. example joaha my surname joaha a lot of people call it joaha and some even call it Juara. I don't mind if you're not a first language speaker of the language, but the proper one is Juara. The letter S is next. The example is Sala. So for S, it's just simple. Sala means remain. And when we add an H after the S, we change the sound from s to sh. The example is shesha, hurry up. And when we add an n before the s, it becomes ns. Example, ins amba teka, a weird story. Next is the letter t, which we pronounce with a pop. The example is dusa, so t is d, not we only get to pronounce it t when there's an H after the T. So if it's just the T without the H, it's dusa, which means praise, give praise, dusa. When we add an H after the T, it, bec it becomes t. Example, tusa, which means scare or frighten. And when we add an N before the T, it becomes t. The example is intombi, a girlfriend. Intombi could also mean a maiden. Now let's add an S after the T. The sound becomes t. Example, tsotsi, a dog. And the sound for T-S-H is ch. Example, chela, to tell. So T-S is t. T-S-H is Let's try these advanced combinations. So if we have M, T, S, H, the sound is mch. The example is mchele, tell her or tell him. And if we substitute the M with the N, N, T, S, H is mch. The example is mchoncha, still. And when we add the M before the N, T, S, H, it becomes mchi. The example is mchonchele, still from her or him. Don't do that in real life though. We're just learning words. Thank you so much for tuning in and for completing lesson four. I am looking forward to lesson five. For now, goodbye. We'll see each other next time. Ciao.